sorry for the super late start tonight. Uh, we had some turnover here. Uh, we will be instead trying out a new game called The End of the World Zombie Apocalypse. These are a series of games that will be coming out from Fantasy Flight Games using their uh, very typical fast dice system uh, where you go through actions pretty quickly. I think the other ones are like uh, UFO Invasion, uh, Mass Warfare, stuff like that. This is Zombies, so Zombies. Uh, and let's get into how to play really quick, because we started super late. <clears throat> so, uh, page 17, performing tasks. Just skip to the next page for 18. <clears throat> you determine the appropriate characteristic, which we'll do during character creation. You assemble your positive and negative. You roll the dice. Once everything's been accounted for, your positive and negative pairs cancel out. As long as you have a dice that is lower than what you're aiming for, you succeed. Anything that's left over from there turns into uh, stress or points of things that harm you. So as you can see, assembling your dice pool, you add all of your positive features that you have, any equipment. So for instance, <clears throat> weapons will add large bonuses for attack rolls. Assistance, if other players want to take their turns to help one particular person, let's say, Talking is going to be one of the big ones. And then situational benefits. And on the other side, you've got the task difficulty giving you negatives, negative features, traumas, which uh, they're both traumas you're currently suffering. For instance, I am deathly afraid of buildings above the third floor because I know it only happened when I became an engineer. I know that if anything happens from that height, you're pretty much dead. And so now I'm afraid to go above the third floor in buildings. Because I'd like to be able to be like, yeah, I'll get out. I'll survive. Probably. Maybe. No. So something like that. But uh, during character creation, if someone has traumas they'd like to reveal, uh, they can. If not, it's not a huge deal because you pick up traumas during play by removing stress. And if you choose not to remove stress, eventually you'll die of it. Just like hit points. I think that covers most of, uh, covers almost everything. So let's get into creating characters. You've got three different types of characteristics, physical, mental, and social, and each of those has an offensive and defensive component. Dexterity and vitality, logic and willpower, charisma and empathy. What's going to happen is you start with a one in all of your characteristics, and you have ten points. You can put them into anything you like. But before you do that... You should know that we'll have a vote. You go around, everyone will read out uh, each of their paired characteristics. So for their physical, you'll say what your dexterity and vitality is. The players will then send me a secret message using the GM commands saying whether they believe that that underrates that person's abilities, whether they overrate that person's abilities, or whether they believe that that is the correct value for that person. If the person turns out to be too underrated, they will get a bonus to that, but they'll have to take a negative feature. If they are overrated, they'll take a negative, but they'll get a positive feature. So, for instance, it would be, let's say I set my physical as four, because, yeah. And everyone's like, nope, 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 nope. So what I would get, my physical would drop, one of my physical stats would drop to three, and I would get a positive feature out of it, like, thinks he's better than he is, or... Super confident. Super confident, yeah. But it would have to be something physical-based. So probably more oh. like, has gigantic arms. Has <laughs> fists the size of hands. <clears throat> something like that. <clears throat> so we'll get started on that part now. If you guys want to take a couple minutes to uh, take those ten points and divide them up into the six characters that you have. And maybe talk me through what you guys are doing. Uh, I have rolled up my own character of myself that is mostly statted into mental. <clears throat> and he will be a part of a NPC host for this. The other thing I should note to all my players is because you're playing yourselves, you have all of the knowledge of yourselves. You know everything about zombies that you currently know. So when someone in an alley begins coughing up blood and moving towards you at a slow shuffling gait and it's super pale... It's not metagaming to say, 
that's a freaking zombie, man. Because you've seen enough zombie movies to know that's a freaking zombie, man. The hype is okay. Real. By Tellery, we'll do that means exactly. Uh, well, uh, it's basically defensive, so it's like Constitution. Oh, <clears throat> it's oh, how wow. hardy you are. <clears throat> So, <laughs> so we just posted a picture of Shadowrun with the caption "Crime hits Seattle streets moment after big win." <laughs> <laughs> That's rough, man. That's rough. In empathy, how bad you feel for other people. Yep. Well, no, yeah. empathy is your mental defense. Um, so empathy is like your ability to understand other people and what they're going through. These are all minimum one? Yes, you start at... No, no. You start at one, and you add ten points from there. Add to it. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Mm, this is tough. Mm. The hype is... Actually, I'm sending you guys the link just in case anyone's going to squat. But I'm guessing you all have shitty connections again tonight, like we normally do. Oh man. Anyone got any uh, any choices locked in there yet? I Don't think so. That. Okay. Hmm. I may be misrating empathy, though. Like, yeah, that's why I'm like, empathy kind of confused me. It's like, how do you feel about other people? Like, how much do you understand other people? And I'm like, understand eh. and sympathizing, yeah. The bad thing about that high school Dominic doesn't know, well, I know okay about people that I know now. So know. let's talk about that. We haven't mentioned it. Some of you guys are playing yourselves, but in different time periods. So let's introduce everyone as themselves. Craig, who are you playing? Uh, I'm going to meet be me when uh, when I retire from the military. I was 40. All right. That has been a few years ago. <laughs> and uh, Dom, who are you playing? Uh, senior Dominic, about to go into Navy ROTC. All right. Dan, who are you playing? I'm playing present Dan. All right. Cool, cool. Now, something that should be noted for the viewers here is uh, you have to play... Well, you don't have to play yourself, but it suggests you play yourself. You also <laughs> get the equipment you currently have. Anything that's in your house or your room that you currently own goes on your character's equipment sheet if you'd like it to. Does your roommate stuff count? <laughs> in the zombie, apop in in the the zombie apocalypse, would you take his stuff? Yeah, that, that's... A, I was going to say, in the event of an apocalypse, <laughs> would you take his stuff? Hmm, I do like Eric a lot. Uh, Dom, your camera is not going. I don't know if you wanted it to or not. No, my I camera's like uh, a... I've been having camera problems all week, so okay. I'm just like, screw it. That's true. All I right. have a freestanding microphone setup that I could break down into a couple pretty hefty clubs. <laughs> we have a tire bat. So, God, I love that tire bat. I want to keep it as a microphone setup. That sounds like a social... I'm not very social. Well, I you also could, you could use a, that as a bonus uh, to broadcast. You could be the new Citizen Z. I also have this little mic that I. Let's see. How do you do GM chat in this? Is it GM something? Right, I'm missing Question it. on logic: Does it count as mathematical logic or like philosophy logic? Both still missing it. Uh, like, how well can you think through a situation? Mm. Actually, you know what? Four. Go. Check commands. Five, one. Got it. I think I'm locked in. Okay. Let me just put an X in the chat. 
when you guys are locked in. Doing math. Thank you. Mm, two more points somewhere. I've already scribbled all over my sheet. Excellent. You've done everything you're supposed to. I mean, I have a couple different mics here. I use. I have the mic that I use. I have that big thing. That's going to require. Just, maybe just list one mic. One mic. Yeah. We'll, we'll I, get around to it when we get to the equipment session. And an improvised club. <laughs> improvised club. But I have two. Hey. Don, Don, how's it coming? Thinking about stuff. It's like, I got that last point down. Like, I don't want to boost this above what it needs to be, but it's like, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it into this just because. Okay. Because I want to get that too high. Anyone who wants to volunteer to be the first vote? I'll go first. Okay. All right. So for all the other players, you type slash W space GM space your vote, which would be he's overpowered that characteristic, underpowered that characteristic, or not. And you can see that on page 22 on the vote section. So, Dom, tell us what your statistics are in uh, physical. Okay. I have three decks and four Vitali, and I can back that up by... For decks, I did wrestling... I did color guard, PTing, and weightlifting. Okay. Unfortunately, I was not good at running because I was flat-footed, but I was a actually a pretty good shot in uh, rifle part of ROTC. And uh, what else? I think you've, you've defended it pretty well. So I need the votes from the other players. You know, oh yeah, for Thanks. before it, the reason why I said for Vitali. The only time I missed school because I had a viral infection in my lungs, and I had it. Twice, once in middle school, which I had pneumonia, which I still went to school. And one time at Color Guard Meet, I was puking, got back on the field, did my drill, and kept going because we was at we was at our uh, like pre-state, and we really was motivated. Okay. And okay. at work, I work at a pharmacy tech, so I'm around sick people all the time and barely get sick. Okay. And I have sinuses on top of that, right, which Tom, I only get I sinuses. You, you defended it well. <laughs> so okay. I, I need okay. to so vote. I'm not trying to brag, but all right. I I want to clarify one thing before we go. I don't see anything on here that says what the the number in the stat really means. I mean, okay. What's a what's a five related to a four? What's the so when you're making an action, let's say you mm -hmm. want to shoot somebody, okay, and you have a dexterity of four, you roll all of your positive dice and negative dice. Of course, you want all your at least one uncanceled die to be equal to or less than the statistic. So if you have a five in dexterity, you want to get a five or lower on at least one die. Otherwise, you and, fail. And how many dice? You would determine you be... dice by how many positive features you have, by mm -hmm. the type of equipment you have. Related so instance, to this action. Yeah. So for instance, shotguns, I think, provide negative dice because they're inaccurate as hell but they get a huge damage bonus so when it hits it does massive amounts of damage on the other hand bolt action rifles deal less damage but they get positive dice because you're, okay. you're way more likely to oh hit yeah someone. second note wrestling team only person on the wrestle team not to break a bone and my nickname was tupperware which was hilarious okay <laughs> <laughs> so, if, just as a for instance, I want to shoot a zombie that just staggered through the doorway of a building. Yep. I have a, I have a handgun. Yep. Uh, I'm a. You would add the military trained marksman, not a sniper or anything, just a military trained marksman. That sounds like a feature to me. How do I tell how many dice that translates into? So the I pistol will that... have a number of dice for it. Right. If you want to take. Military trained marksman as a physical feature. That sounds good too. You would get one out of that. Um, any other so, equipment you might have to help, like for instance, let's say you found red dot scope and you equip that to your pistol, that will provide one as well. Okay. Maybe you picked up some diazepam or something to help you calm down, keep you less stressed, and uh, help with your 
aim or something, you know. So let's just say basics mm -hmm. just me, a revolver, and a zombie. Two or three so, positive dice, I would think. So I'm talking in the neighborhood of three dice, and if I have a five dexterity, I have to have a five or better on three dice. On one die. Yeah, out of one. And of that them. one of the dice one out of, of my dice. pool has to roll a five or bit, uh, a five or less. Yes, and it has to be uncanceled by negative dice. So the f a four is pretty darn good. Five yes. is yep amazing. Okay. Okay, so we're ready to make a decision on Dom stats of three and four. And it was three decks and four vitality. Yep. So do you because believe I, that Dom is a three four guy? Mostly because I suck at running. I, I can't go above a three. I suck at running. Okay. I could sprint. I could sprint the hell out of something, but long distance running is like. Mm -mm. Best sprinter. All right. Let's move on to the next batch of stats. Uh, mental okay. stats. Okay. Okay. I have a three for logic and a one for will. All right, De defend your choices there. Logic is because the fact back in high school, I was a decent abstract thinker, and I was good at math and biology, but I was horrible at chemistry because I was a horrible speller. But, you know, I found ways to get around spelling for English and Spanish, but it's still not one of my strongest, you know, things. Of course, I'm getting better at writing papers because, you know, I'm in the school forever, trying mostly because of papers. I can pass a test, like I get like high 90s, but uh, my papers are horrible. That's why I kind of know myself at three average. Okay, and your Will's, willpower? Well, there's a lot of stuff that runs in my family, depression, ADD, dyslexia. Me personally, I can deal with it, and I'm one of them guys that I don't take, need to take medication after working in a pharmacy. And it's better to talk out your problems than actually you know, taking a pill for it. That's just my philosophy. But it's still as a... It still can always be a problem because, you know, I haven't hit that 30s because, you know, all this stuff can actually pop up before your 30s as being a psych major. But I'm not sure if that stuff is going to pop up, so you never know under a stress kind of situation. All right. Because you're playing a younger version of yourself. Yeah, like right now, I'd probably be like a two or three because I actually have life experience. But, you know, high school Dominic doesn't have that life experience because I live with my grandparents and that's kind of a shelter life. All right. I and also, you're... I have Boy Scouts yeah, no, and RTS. We're, we're good. The the descript the your defense only needs to be about two sentences. By the way, sorry. <laughs> you're going <laughs> really in depth into your life. There's some like doxing shit that could be done at this point. Uh, I need everyone's votes in. I see one of them. I see. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the third part. What are your stats for your uh, social? I have a three and a two for empathy because okay. I don't quite understand empathy completely. Charisma just because I had a lot of friends in high school. Some people knew me without me knowing them. I could talk to people pretty decently, but you know, I'm one of the guys that I read everybody get along and work together because you know. Being on a wrestling team, your team was your point system. Being in color guard, your team was your point system. So I'm one of those guys that's a team player. That's why I went with three with charisma. Empathy, I really didn't know people, like, fill people out as well. Like, I know not to talk to this guy because this guy's obviously pissed, but I couldn't really find out why they were pissed. But I can get enough social cues, like, I should definitely step away. Okay, let's see those votes. For the viewers at home, I'm not going to let you guys see these comments. <laughs> <laughs> that would be mean. <laughs> yeah, that would be mean. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, we, you will, of course, know what the decision is at the end. So, um, I think it's going to be obvious. Uh, but one of you pick both up and down. I mean, you have to overall say either oh, overall for it for the whole thing. Powerful or not powerful enough? 
Yeah, I think it was obvious you did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's over 9,000! Okay, all right. All right, Dom, no one has voted to change any of your stats at all. So yeah. now we choose your features. You got no voted raised or lowered. So you pick one, I believe it's one positive and one negative in each of your three categories. Okay. So you can do that while we uh, go through everybody else's votes. So, you know, like like Craig said, you know, and for his physical, he'll pick something like military trained marksman. For you, you could pick color guard or track runner or something like that. Wrestling. Uh, but you also have to pick a negative in each one as well, something that holds you back. Uh, so we'll continue the voting while you think on those and maybe come up with some options. Who would hey, like to go next? At? Where's what? the feats at anyway? There's no feats. Oh. No, we had to pick feats. This it's is feature. feature. Uh, features. I'll this, go. That's what you're making up right now. What features describe you? One positive, one negative in every category. Oh, okay. Just making them up. Gotcha. Yep. All right. <clears throat> describe your positive physical, or I'm sorry, your physical stats there. One sec. All right, uh, physical stats, dexterity two. I'm uh, I have absolutely terrible. I'm I'm always knocking things over, breaking things or whatever, and yet at least half the time I manage to knock something off. I grab it before it hits the floor. But uh, so coordination's good. Dexterity is ter. I mean, uh, coordination's terrible. Whatever. Uh, vitality four. I was a uh, I was a power lifter about this time and had been for four years so I was a uh, stupid strong and uh, I had gone ten straight years without a single visit to sick call okay uh, logic well four. we have to do the vote first. oh we have to vote on yeah. those never mind so uh, I need Dom um, and uh, Dan to send me your votes. slash W so I don't see him slash W space GM space do you believe he's over or underrated his stats, or do they sound about right? <laughs> These votes. Dom, you with us? Yeah, I'm like uh, looking at it right now. It's like, hmm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's move on to the next one. Let's talk about mental stats. Okay. Um, logic 4. Uh, I've always, that's always been my strong suit. And I'm a software developer, computer programmer, computer repair, network repair. I've been a mechanic my entire life. Uh, willpower, I've got a three. If I make up my mind to do something, I'm going to do it. There's just no, yeah, brick walls aren't going to stop me. I've always been that way. But uh, the flip side of that is also I, I come from a, a long history of addictive personalities, so it's hard to break bad habits. That sounds like a good feature as well, a negative feature. It's already written down. Oh, interesting. Good, good, good. All right. What do you guys think about these choices? Please let me know in your private messages. Up, down, or stay the same. Okay. Do, do, do. Dude, these stats, they're still generalized. I know this is supposed to be a simple game, but what makes a man? What is, is a man? His, <laughs> is it power in his hand? Or sheer will of heart. What? No, that's not what a man is. Let me get my what is a man quote. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. Interesting votes here. Uh, let's talk about your social characteristics, Craig. All right. Um, charisma, I've got a two. Um, I've always been a, a social. Well, no. Most of my adult life, I've been a gabby social kind of person, but um, I, I rub a lot of people the wrong way. I'm I'm uh, kind of loud and 
<laughs> you think? You guys haven't noticed that, have you? Uh, <laughs> empathy, I've got a one. Um, I like how is... humorous you were about it, too. That was the best part. <laughs> <laughs> empathy, I've got a one. I tend to... Uh, I don't think, tend to think people whine too much. Okay, all right. Send your votes in now, guys. <laughs> Well, I got a feeling I'm gonna be like you when I get older, cause it's starting to get that way. That I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, why are these people whining? It's only two dollars for the yeah. prescription versus two hundred dollars. Yeah, and that that's actually kind of bad because I I have entirely too much empathy for, you know, things being hurt and things being wrong and stuff like that. But that's that's not what we're talking about here. Oh boy, someone sent me a picture. <laughs> I get a virus off of this. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, so the voting is in. You can upload the file, file to virustotal.com before you open it if you want. That does sound like a great idea. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, so, Craig, you need to give yourself an additional point 